Hello everybody. How are you today? I'm very late tonight. Had a great day. Uh, welcome to Chocolat One. My name's Beth and I'm an independent designer with Chocotour. Let me see if I can see if I can get this up here for the VIP group. And I'll tell you about my wonderful day I had today. There it is. Let me just share this really quickly. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's upside down. It's supposed to be Alexa, not Alexis. <laughs> okay, we're we're in the VIP group. If you're hopping on, please say hello, like, and follow my Facebook page. Um, hit that heart button and let me know you're here. That helps Facebook know that this page is valuable. So um, yesterday we did our little gnome and the green spider webs and the stars on his hat are glow-in-the-dark paint, um, acrylic paint. And I just checked, I left it out on the sun today, it did work, but I think it needs another coat of that paint on his hat and up here on the spider webs and a little bit down here. So I'll do that later, but I just wanted to report back to you that it does work, but it needs a little bit more, I think. <clears throat> We're gonna do a quick project today because I'm coming on so late. I did have a great day. My brother-in-law is visiting from Florida, so we wanted to take him and show him around some of the pretty sights we have here in northern Idaho. So we took a drive 30 miles north of us up to Bonner's Ferry. Um, my daughter stopped at a little store and got some yummy stuff. And then we headed across the border to Montana uh, through Troy, Montana, and down another highway to, um, let's see, the um, it's called Ross Cedar. It's an ancient cedar forest, and it's absolutely beautiful. These huge, huge, tall, old trees. It was just beautiful, stunning, gorgeous day today. I think it was probably in the high 60s, maybe 70 degrees. It was just perfect. And then we stopped at a, uh, it's called the Floating Restaurant. It's actually a restaurant that's on a dock on Lake Ponderé, which is the largest lake in Idaho. So, um, what we're gonna do today is one of these cuties. And I like, I like them all. If you feed them, they will come. Happiness is homemade. That is so cute. The best seat in the house. I saw this one. Somebody did it on the back of their toilet seat. It was really cute. And Alexa, fold the laundry. I'm doing this one because I have three baskets of laundry. I have been so busy. I've just been getting it washed and then thrown into the basket to wash. Or to dry. They're dried thrown into the basket and I, I gotta fold them tomorrow. But we're just busy. It's just busy, busy, busy time. Which is great, it's good to be busy. So let me just zip across this here and I'll probably put this in my laundry room above the dryer. So if Alexa does have time, she can fold my laundry. These are, if you're not familiar with Chalk Couture, if this is the first time you're watching, Please say hello, let me welcome you in, and let me tell you about Chalk Couture. It's a DIY home decor company. We use these um, vinyl silk screens. They're silk screens, not a stencil. Where you see the lettering, that is um, the silk screen. And that's where the paste pushes through and gives us this beautiful design. These transfers are reusable eight to 12 times and more with good care. This is one of our simple shapes. They come white. And this morning before I, we left on our little trip, it was a, we've gone for about five hours. It was great, beautiful drive. 
Um, I took my sander and just sanded it down to distress it a little bit. And I'm going to put some wax on there. And I think I want the darker wax today. This is just stained surface. Let me see. Stained surface paste finishing wax. And there's all different kinds of brands of this. Chalk Couture also sells a finishing wax. Makes it convenient just to go onto my shopping site and grab everything you need there. I'm just gonna put a thin layer of this on here. I like to heat that up a little bit to help it uh, melt into that wood. That should be good. And then I like to buff it. I know some people don't do this step, but um, I like the way it finishes it off. It smooths it out, makes it kind of shiny. I like that. I like the way it feels. Okay. Let's put our little sign on here. And then we're going to figure out what color we are going to paste on this. I have, what colors, I have some little wallpaper trim in my, my laundry room. It's got yellows, oranges, blues, maybe blue. Maybe we'll do this in blue. I haven't used that in a while. So that's all stuck down to my surface. The surface is anything that you're applying the transfer to. It can be, it could be this board, it could be a sweatshirt, it could be a coffee cup. So whatever that is, that's the surface and then this is the transfer. All right, let's see what colors we have here. I want something fun. Fun, fun, fun. use this guava I don't think I've used this yet maybe I did looks like maybe I did stir it up grab a stir stick I just want to incorporate those pigments back together sometimes they separate with storage and non-use so isn't that pretty now Alexa should get the idea with this what she needs to do It's got a little blip there. Okay. And do we want that little laundry basket a different color? Mm. Trying to see what color would go with that. So what is this? This is colonial blue. I don't know if that's going to really work, but I think I like this for that. Maybe we'll do, maybe I'll do the, the, laund the little laundry basket here in the um, guava and we'll do the, the blue colonial, the sign in the blue. So let's get started here. It's going to be cute. This is a really nice 
blue. Kind of reminds me of like a, a denim blue almost. Not feeling that guava. I'm not feeling it. Um, that'll be too light. Let's do the whole thing in this. I just really like how this blue looks. Okay. Let's peel this up. That's cute. That is a cute sign. Okay. I'm going to wash it in my bucket of water right here. So I had all this set up before I left, so that was good. Let me move this so you can see what I'm doing here. Set that over there. Done with this. I didn't bring in my little jar of water, but that's okay. So a little pretty guava, you'll wait for another day. Another sunny day is coming. So I just have a bucket of water here. I have my transfer in there, and I'm just gonna take that paste off the front of it. off the front of it and then I turn it over and take the fuzz off the back of it that we put on and that's it set this back over here add that fuzzing cloth and I use the microfiber side I just like to make, go back through and wipe off any extra paste that I didn't see when it was in the bucket. Push down, dry it. And then, this is important, when you're drying this, make sure that it is sticky side or sunny side up, some people like to call it. So just so it's sunny side up. And then when that's dry, we're going to reapply the backer sheet. Now let's try this. We're gonna punch a couple holes in it and then we'll be able to string some jute twine or um, ribbon through it. There we go. Now let me find my crocodile. This guy is coming handy. It's good for we have, Chuck Tour has one, but it's ha it's been on back order and we haven't been able to get it. Um, I bought this before that was even a possibility. Let me throw these in here now. Get that mess out of the way. Put him over here. Isn't this fast and easy and just it is just so fast and easy. Let's see what do we want. This is 12 inches. So if we go in, let's just make a little dot at one inch in, one 
page and Go. Do this side. There we go. There's our holes. Now let's get some. What do we have? Do I have anything? Hmm. If I had done something in black, this would have been cute to accent that with. But I didn't, so I can't. I don't think it would look too good. I have some navy blue ribbon, gray ribbon. I think it's going to be, it's going to be jute, which is fine. We could throw some beads on it. Let's see here. just depends on how long we want. That looks cute with the jute on the front. Some small little clothes pins on that would be cute. I made the jute too short though. Let me see. Let's see, we just tie some knots in the back here. There's my little sign for the laundry room. It came out cute, it's quick, it's easy. What have we been on here for? Not that long, 18 minutes. Okay, so I'm just gonna trim the back of this off here so it doesn't stick out. And I'm gonna get busy until we get Alexa folding that, those three baskets of laundry that I have. All right. Well, thank you for watching tonight. I appreciate it. <sighs> tomorrow, I hope I won't be quite so late being on here, but I will be back tomorrow. And until we talk again, take great care and have a good evening.